Hey, we're back. Now, I know we're doing the saga with Costco tins versus booster boxes. Now, we're already done with uh, Evolving Skies, but this time it should come out on Sunday. Now, Sunday, I want to tell you guys that tomorrow we're kicking off with Brilliant Stars. We need to hit shelf back up here, but we're doing Evolving Skies, Brilliant Stars, Fusion Strike. I was going to add this into the competition, but I figured that there's just too many. So let's just let's open up. Now, these come with eight packs each. They're not like celebration sets. It comes with ten. Because, you know, why would you want to open up 10 Evolving Skies at once? I guess Tear Ducks, you know, you're going to be crying that much. Anyway, save you guys all the pain of watching me do that. Or like the, uh, where, where they, they fast forward and like, you just get it all done. It's done. I got off screen. You're good. So we got Evolving Skies. I'm going to crack that one open first. We got eight packs of Brilliant Stars. going to be right after that, just like we're doing in the contest. And last but not least, Fusion Strike. With that little Mew on there. Mew, he's just just not the same, you know. Mew two is where it's at. Uh, where do we put these? I don't falling over anywhere. Let's uh, let's crack into this. Evolving skies or evolving cries? You guys know the name of the game. What is this one gonna be? We do need our hit board back. Give me one hot second. I do have. I didn't have enough room to start the thing off. All right. Anyway, let's uh, oh, white code card so you know. Justin Timberlake, get on out here. It's Evolving Cries. One, two, three, four. Uh, as soon as I said Evolving Cries, somebody unsubscribed. <laughs> I know what you mean. I know how you feel. Just crying, huh? He's like, this guy, he just won't stop opening Evolving Cries, and it hurts my feelings. I know. It probably brings back sad memories. Let's get this, uh, let's get this white code card out of the way. We got slacking or slaking. I've heard both. I'm going to go with slacking. For the reverse rare and a non hollow tropius. All right. No surprise there. Now, the Costco tins was pretty embarrassing, but that booster box <laughs> came in swinging. So I'm curious, where do these lie, the ETBs? Oh, we got a black code card. Whoever unsubscribed, come on back. It's okay. We got evolving. Let me, oh, it's in one second. We got like evolving Boo Shake, evolving Shelgon, uh, Mareep, evolving shopping center. Not bad. You know, Zerua, Tentacool. Hopip. He is angry. Look at those eyes. Little Saiyan eyes. All right, Dino. We got a jump bluff, which we pulled an absolute ton of. Oh, that's that, that's Pau Day Evolved. I have a million of these from Pau Day Evolved. Reverse rare. We got a Galarian Zapdos. The cool thing about the booster box is we pulled all three legendary birds. I thought that was cool. That does count as Evolving Skies. Evolving Skies or Evolving Cries. How many times can we say it before you get the name of the game? Let's pack trick this one up. What is it? Ah, oh, it's a black code card, so we're guaranteed a hollow or better, or you're guaranteed to watch me just have bad luck like I've had before. You think it's a hollow, then it comes out just like nothing, not even a hollow, not even the shiny foil paper made it into your pack. Hypno. Eevee. Look, Eevee just looking at Rayquaza. I'd never even noticed that. He's like, oh, someone just called Shinron and got a lucky wish. I wonder where the seven Dragon Balls went. Applin. Lillipup. We got a toy catcher. Every parent needs one of these. And our hit, or not hit, is a Suicune V. We pulled quite a few of these, but it did take a booster box to get. So it's going on the hit board. One in. Not bad. One hit out of every eight packs. Sounds about right for Evolving Skies. You guys know that this pack, th these, this series is like a glass cannon. Right, it could come out and just decimate, but you know it's just not gonna. It can't, can't take it. Why did I put the reverse right there? Somebody stop me next time. Floet, boost shake, Teddy Ursa. He's just living his best life in that picture. This is a crazy snowflake. I'm not sure what's going on there. That that fox is only there to <laughs> steal your food while you're gone. Like not your main meal, but just all the sides, you know, and probably your left shoe. Uh, pet a little for the reverse. We got a non-hollow Appleton, which is thick mucus. So he's throwing that up everywhere. Okay, so sorry, Appleton. I didn't know you were under the weather, not feeling well. Still don't care. All right, so we got a white code card. So yeah, up, up to par. Let's just go through this one. Psyduck, Eevee, Cutifly, C Dot, Lillipup. We got a slack off reverse. We got a non-hollow Stoutland. I don't know why. He's just depressing to pull at all times. And his little herdier. His little friend there. What do you got? We got three packs left. What we got here? 
is this going to be evolving skies or evolving cries? Now, I don't know if it means anything when you drop a pack or you throw it. But uh, we got a hit, so let's let's pack trick this up. This one does happen to be an evolving skies. Any hit out of evolving skies is actually pretty good. We got some decent ones. Now they've got some heavy hitters, ones that you just can't forget. They got some pretty good hits too. A lot of nothing packs. So you gotta seize the time, seize the day. Avenge that fault, anybody? Uh, Pikachu, Applin. All right, slacking for our reverse. Let me know in the comments down below. Is it slacking or slay king? Because slay king sounds funnier, but slacking is what he looks more like. And we got a Arctivish V. Put it right there on the hit board. Just collecting the water ones. All right. There's our subscriber. He came back. Did you guys see that? Dropped down to 452. He came back. said, I'm sorry. I noticed you got a hit there in Evolving Skies. Uh, what's up? black code card let's pack trick this one up i don't know if that was a rainbow or not but i saw i saw some shininess some real shininess nuzleaf is like no get out of here anything i don't know what you're even thinking fake out that's exactly what that just did we're probably gonna get a bulk v drowsy's like yeah i told you scrag is what i look like when i leave the card store with no money in my pockets you know how expensive the etbs and booster boxes are revolving skies it's getting very expensive to pull and open Palpitoad for the reverse. <laughs> Told you fake out. And a hollow a floor gaze. Hollow rare. Last pack magic. Of evolving skies. We're going to talk nice to it. It's not evolving cries. It's evolving skies until proven otherwise. Hold it like it does in court. White code card. So you know it's evolving cries. Nick it. Dweeble. Rufflet. Rog and Rolla. It's a cool name. We're just Rog and Rolla out here. Hippowdon for the reverse and a non hollow Smeargle. This one does look cool. This Bulldor. It's like the triangle version of Golem. All right, we're getting into Brilliant Stars now. What we got. So Evolving Skies put two hits on the board, two bulk Vs. I have high hopes for Brilliant Stars. I'm not kidding. Like, I was hoping to pull the Moon Breon. I mean, who isn't? Um, but I'm excited for the uh, the Brilliant Stars Costco versus Booster Box because Brilliant Stars just comes out swinging. It's not the Crown Zenith, but it can make you feel like it sometimes. Care Blast for the reverse and a non-hollow muck. Just destroying someone's old apartment. Look at that tube TV. It was trash anyway. Shout out to anybody who had the 36 tube Sony TV. It takes like 10 people to move. I've moved a couple of those. Uh, that's why I got as buff as I did. I haven't moved one in a while, which is why I'm also not as buff. Anyway. White code cards. Let's just go through them. By Doof, they're all looking for the real Pokemon. Electabuzz, Chimchow, Gibble, Turtwig. Ooh, Houndoom, Trainer Gallery. Let's put a... Uh, all right, so Evolving Skies. It's going to go over here now. Houndoom for that. Trainer Gallery, Clefable, Non-Hollow. I forgot, though, even the white code cards... And Brilliant Stars are just banging. Charizard. What's up, man? How you doing? You coming to bring some, some luck? You do have a black code card, so... What do you got for us? I take back everything I said about you and Venusaur. Fire type is definitely superior to grass type. Superior. I mean, you would light forest fires. Venusaur never stood a chance. Ever. Turtwig, look at a little turtle. He can't hang. He can't hang with a dragon. Come on. I was just kidding. Spirit Tomb. I'm not kidding when I say I never want to see those again. All right. Snow Rump for the reverse and a Simsir V. I was just kidding. Venusaur would rip your wings off. Let's go Trainer Galleries. Yeah. Yeah. And the Vs right there. Trainer Galleries, Vs, Golds, and Rainbows. Because that's what you pull in Brilliant Stars. Golds, Rainbows, sometimes Golden Rainbows. You guys probably haven't pulled that card. It's okay. This wasn't white, so we're gonna we're gonna get through it. We're gonna get through this together. It's gonna be okay. All right, cleansing gloves for the reverse and a non-hollow warmadam. Cynthia, I need you. Okay, come on. Cynthia's ambition. How ambitious are you, Cynthia? We got, we got a white code card. Why are you that excited? It's a white code card. There's nothing in there. We got a fresh water set. It's 
finds needed. Another muck. Man, ETBs. I can't talk bad about them because I've had just some absolutely ridiculous ETBs. But then you just pull some and you're like, man, that was very underwhelming. You know, and you're like, did, I re did that really just happen? Because you get a box, you get the stuff with it, and you're like, there's God. Like, they couldn't just, like, I feel like the crap packs are, like, reserved for, like, Walgreens or just, like, the dollar store. Like, don't, don't get me wrong, but, you know, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, the the big box stores, the boxes that come with cool stuff. I feel like you're just in that excitement for, as a, as a customer experience, you want, like, a hit or two out of there, like, some good ones. And some of them are just, like, really remind you that all these packs are random. Breedling for a reverse rare. We got a riot you. Riot you V. I take back what I said about Lieutenant Surge. You look angry. All right. So, all right. Brilliant Stars just beat Evolving Skies. And that's how I feel this saga is going to go as far as Costco versus uh, booster boxes. And then just in general, man. Like I said, it doesn't beat Crown Zenith. But. It'll make you wonder. Grim Snarl for a reverse rare and a non-hollow Electrobire. All right. Brilliant stars. All right, what we got? Oh, another subscriber's what we got, but we did get a white code card. You know, let's just, we've seen all these. Hit on top for the reverse and a non-hollow Heatran. That was our last pack, Magic. Okay, so Evolving Skies did beat out. I mean, sorry, Brilliant Stars did beat out Evolving Skies. Let's get on with Fusion Strike. I'm kind of neutral on Fusion Strike. I haven't pulled much, but I have pulled like some the alt art, the Espeon. We did that here. White code card. Uh, so it's definitely, uh, yeah. Here's actually two that I dislike the most. Keys, because what's even going on with that? When did Keys start talking? And I think this is actual garbage, and I didn't know that. I really thought it was like dryer lint, you know. Like so, now we got trash bags talking. I don't know. Anyway, all right, a reverse Yveltal. That thing looks wicked, and a non-hollow Huntail. All right, these packs. I wish some packs just open up so light, but I, I kind of bugs me when they just tear right down the middle like that. You're like, all right, get it together. Black code cards. We will trick pack trick this up. Energy. Simseer. That art looks cool. Cool. I haven't seen these Mandibuzz. I've seen a bunch of Caterpies. <laughs> we saw one got was worn as a hat. By by Bulbasaur. Let me know in the comments down below. Did you guys see that? The video? <laughs> it's like a 3D animation. Bulbasaur's wearing Caterpie as a hat. Sandy gas for the reverse. And then oh a hollow Deoxys. Fusion strike, single strike, rapid strike, just anything. He's going to strike you. Strike you down. I want a Venus where it has all the strikes on it like that. Is that a thing? Is that, has that been printed? Black code card. Let's go. Yo, and we got a hit. One, two, three, four. Fusion strike. What you got for us? Put that first hit on the board. Got a quick ball. Toka Demaro, Schoolboy, he's excited. Gossifler, Mudkip, Sandshrew, just hanging out. Cuffin, Impidimp, it's a cool name. Pants here for the reverse, and our first hit is we got a Cinderace V. As far as like the modern games, this is the only one I've played other than Red and Blue on a Nintendo Switch. Now it's my guy. He'd kick the little fire soccer ball. He'd put a hurting on you, though. But that little uh, little lizard with this little, man, that little water shot or something just laser beamed me. He would kill me. I did not like that guy. Is it Inteleon? Man, I, if I was there, I'd jump in the ring and uh, rip his tail off like a lizard. Go find another one. All right. White code cards since you're going through it. It would just one-shot me. Like, what is going on? Toxtricity for that reverse. And a non-hollow Zera Aura. Zero aura. Okay. Yeah, I felt like that was just not not a fair fight. That pulled off like Velcro. But we got oh, a white code card. Why are these 
in like that. All right, more Petco reverse. <laughs> Did you guys hear my voice crack? Sorry, I'm actually only 12. Uh, Aquagore, Ace, Ace Lagore, Axe Lagore. Even he doesn't know his name. Look at that face. So I'm fine. Three packs left. We're not. We didn't come with the heat this time, which is okay if we're saving it for the bo booster. What in the world? Okay, so in the last video, someone said, hey, does it have the black dot on the bottom? And I thought it did because it was like this tiniest black dot. But look at these. We got a rainbow, and we got, look at these, three dots. That's the that's the uh, the guide dots, because look at the top right here. One, Toxel, so we got Meltan, Toxel, and Staryu. Are those error cards? We're keeping those to the side. These have uh, a little remnant of the uh, the black dot. Mawile, Makuhita. We got, so uh, we're jumping right through this. Obviously, it's a black code card with a rainbow. Bres, uh, Brascuda. <laughs> Why is my voice cracking? I can't do this. Bo yeah, anyway, Brascuda for the reverse. We got a dancer. Uh, now, if this is a waifu card, she's just trying to get through college. Okay? Every guy's been there. Anyway, she's about to put on a show. Dancer Rainbow. Not bad. So put that right there on the on the hit board. So we got Evolving Skies, Brilliant Stars, Fusion Strike putting up the first rainbow. Not bad. And a black code card. Follow me, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get to all these hits. And what do I do about those the, the cards that are that far off? Do I save them? Is that enough to be an error card? I wouldn't mind. If I could get those graded and it comes back in error, I think that would be cool. Uh, not that I'm I'm gonna not that I'm out to collect those. I doubt I would buy any other error cards, but I would get some graded for errors and, and keep them. Like these are the cool ones I opened up. Black code cards means we we have to. So it's a must. Uh, I talked to the Pokemon Pokemon game. They said, hey, that's the rules. Done, sparse. There's the dancer again. I, I've never even seen the dancer. Now she just I guess it's her time. It's her time to shine. 15 minutes of fame, Dancer. Go get that money. Quillfish. Vulpix. Just, you know, sneezing out some more fire, it looks like. Galarian. Zigzagoon. Chansey. Frostmoth for the reverse. We got a, oh, we got a hollow Steelix. I said a non-hollow. Spoke a little too soon. All right, last pack, Magic. Last pack of the show. Right? I think so. We'll save the po we got a rainbow, so we'll save the we'll save the emergency Pokeball for a real emergency. We did get a white code card, so we're gonna end it on that. Shout out to the other subscriber that just showed up: Voltorb, Pansage, Cuffent, Gligar, Slugma. We got a Durant for the reverse. Let's see, that's so far off. I was curious if it had the little black dot in there, but it doesn't. We got a non-hollow Luxray. All right, that's cool because I literally just asked, like, hey, is this gonna be? A, uh, an error card, but now we actually got it. Look how pronounced that black dot is. That's cool. All right. Well, at least if you're going to mess up, at least let me have fun with it. Can I get those great as an error? Guys, let, uh, let, let's do a quick little recap. Let's see what we got going on here. Let's get these out of the way. We'll put all our, all our shiny things. Put all our shiny cards in the shiny bucket. Right over there. Sorry. Get the rares out of the way. All right, so we got... So all of them pulled a V. I wish we had one of those boards. You know, it's like Vs. It's like dot, dot, dot. Like all the, all the brands are at the top. Let's get a nice close-up on the on the hit, hit, the hit board. So did they all come with a V? All of them. Now, how many of them came with two Vs? Actually, only uh, Brilliant Stars and Evolving Skies. How many of them came with a full art? And it's like, well, just one of these. Now, like, zero dots, zero dots. How many came with a rainbow? Like, that's the important one. The rainbow dancer. One more look at that. They don't make rainbows anymore. So I'm collecting all of them. Is that an extra pattern in there? Or is that like, oh, that is. Uh, how cool is that? Why'd they stop making these? I thought these would be. This is a this is uh, popular as gold. Anyway, the only one to put up three hits was Brilliant Stars. Who's surprised, right? Now to get a couple of bulk V's, evolving skies. If we had a vote on how this would pan out, who's going to give you a couple bulk V's? Who's going to give the most hits? 
Ooh, I don't know. If you said, hey, uh, a V and a rainbow, I'd probably – it would have been a tough call. Like, if, if I had to guess, two Vs, a V and a uh, – we'll call it a full art, and then we got a V and a rainbow. Which one would you have pegged for each one? And I want to say – I know with the power of hindsight, I can I – can, obviously say i would have i honestly might have actually pegged that might have just said this is what's coming because i for sure i would have said brilliant stars is going to give the most hits hands down so would have been all right with the rainbow anyway i'm gonna wrap it up here ladies and gentlemen again we kick it off tomorrow with the uh the 36 costco 10 packs of brilliant stars and then wednesday we're gonna go live again to do the booster box now guys remember i go live because i want to talk to you guys i love reading the chat hear what you guys have to say so come in ready to talk i'm not like the other youtubers i'm noticing they do a good job they, they, they really do but th there's not a lot of conversation back and forth and that's why i'm here i don't need to talk to myself i like talking to you guys so come in with those keyboards working get those thumbs ready uh let's chat it up get some popcorn if you want but it's gonna make your keyboard all greasy so uh, anyway, come with some questions, come with some facts, because I don't have them. Uh, and uh, I'll see you guys there. Have a good one.